what do you get when an ex-Aussie moves to the UK, starts a high-end brand and develops an affordable DA converter for a Chinese company? The iFi Micro iDeck 2. Welcome back to the HB channel. Some might consider the moniker Aussie to be negative, but I can assure you that many former East Germans brought us very interesting audio solutions. The one I like most is the unique microphone arrays used in the Berlin Bundestag made by Mikrotech Gevel. Another example is Thorsten Lush that founded Abington Music Research, indeed the man the introduction was about. He licenses his more affordable designs to iFi. The iFi Micro iDeck 2 is a USB DA converter that plays about anything you throw at it. PCM from 44.1 up to 384 kHz sampling, DXD and DSD up to DSD 256. The extruded anodized aluminum housing is only 7 cm wide and 3 cm high, but 16 cm deep. The front holds the analog line outputs on RCA, a 3.5 mm headphone jack and a volume control for the headphone output. The input is a USB 3 type B connector that is both mechanically and electrically compatible with a USB 2 type B connector and is situated on the rear. There you also find an SPD digital output and a three position filter switch. This switch offers three reconstruction filters each for PCM and DSD. For PCM there are three digital filters, bit perfect processing, minimum phase and standard. For DSD there are three analog filters, extreme, extended and standard range. For DXD files only bit perfect processing is used. Time for some tech. If you are not interested, skip to the timecode below for the rest of the review. All electronics is situated on one board with the exception of the USB interfacing, that's on a separate board that fits nicely within the constraints of the main board. The designer must have appreciated the work of me and my colleagues since he nicely indicated what circuits are situated where on the board. For instance, the clock and SPDF out section in the lower left shows two oscillators, one for 44.1 kHz and its multiples and one for 48 kHz and its multiples. Or the analog sections with the Burr Brown Sound Plus Class A buffer chips and the dual mono headphone amps, although only passive components are visible. Also notice the nice spring loaded contacts in the headphone connector. The DA conversion section also shows only passive components. This means that the chips must be on the back side. So let's flip the print. There the Burr Brown DSD 1793 DA converter chip is found. It's a remarkable device that does DSD natively. For PCM the top 6 bits are done using a ladder converter while the lower ones are done using a multi-bit converter. This means that it gets precision for the upper 6 bits from the position of the resistors in the ladder converter, as where for the lower bits the position is determined by the position of the clock. In DSD mode only the clock position is determining the precision. The USB input is handled by an XMOS interface chip which makes the iDEC 2 USB audio profile 2 compatible. It thus works on any computer without driver with the exception of all Windows systems. Microsoft is the only OS builder that still doesn't integrate USB audio profile drivers in their OS's. Hooking up the iDEC 2 is simple. Just make a connection between the computer and the DA converter using a USB cable. If your computer runs Windows you have to first download the driver from the iFi side. I didn't use the supplied USB cable but an AudioQuest Cinnamon USB 2 interlink. Since USB is the only input, the iDEC 2 is not suited for use with CD decks, most 
audio streamers or digital TV and radio receivers. I tested it with several Macs, a Raspberry Pi 2B, an Apple MacBook Pro running Windows 8 Pro and a, an HP Windows 7 computer with the factory driver installed. It all worked like a charm. I started with the Raspberry Pi running Rune Audio in Set 3. It was immediately clear that the iDeck 2 offers more than the set could reproduce. So it was connected to the Mac Mini in Set 2 where it fell in place. When I did that with the new Prime UDSD DA converter, it was immediately clear where the lim limitations were. See the new Prime review here. The iDeck 2 is of a different level. It offers far more open mid, a more spacious stereo image and a clearly more relaxed sound, as it should be given the two and a half times higher price. It doesn't have the fabulous transients the Court Hugo has again as it should be since the Hugo again is two and a half times the price of the iDeck 2. That might make this review slightly suspect since it's very safe to say that you get what you pay for. So let me explain that I pre-select the products I review. Since I run the show alone, I consider it a waste of time reviewing a product that performs poorly given its price. In this case a review was requested by viewers, so they made the pre-selection for me. This is a very good sounding DA converter given its price. It really is fair to position it straight in the middle between the new Prime UDSD on the lower and the Cord Hugo on the higher end. They have in common that leads stick out on all sides and they also double as headphone amps. I ended up using the iDeck 2 sideways with the USB sticking out from the left and the analog interconnects on the right. Given the print on the top that might even be how the designer had it in mind. People that use the headphone outputs frequently might use this with the volume knob on the left since it's easier to handle. Having the front on the right side gives good access to the filter switch. Although I ended up using only the bit perfect position, which is the extreme mode when DSD is played. Some warning here. Due to the noise shaping used in DSD, there is a lot of inaudible high frequency energy in the DSD signal. Some amplifiers might not like that, start sounding nasty or even running into trouble. It's advisable to try the upper extreme position and compare it with the lower position. If there is a difference in sound, choose the safe lower position. I've said it before, the A converters develop rapidly, although the biggest leap might be behind us now. This iFi Micro IDSD2, as its full name is, clearly proves this. It's built like a German car, without the cheap and cheating software of course, looks fantastic and sounds very good given its price. If you want to keep informed about developments on the A converters and other hi-fi matters, subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook page or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there. You'll find the information below this video on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.